Ron, do you think you can be kind of married with kids? No. Oh, the wise don't like that. A husband is going viral for the letter he wrote to his wife saying he would not be a husband or father during the Knicks and Celtics game from 7 p.m. until it ends later that evening. Oh, the ladies do not like that. Okay, so it's prepared to block off solo time from your relationship obligations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, here we go. All right. Yeah. This is where I get to vent on behalf of wives and mothers everywhere. Mm. When is the last time that you saw a relaxed woman deciding to opt out of her mothering and wifing duties, household duties, to just sit on the couch to watch a game and put her feet up? Never. You know what? And you know why? Because we are unable to rest until everything in the house is done. So now, when... Let me get personal for a second. Oof. <laughs> Every, this happens in my house every Sunday night, Monday night, and Thursday night, and Saturday night. Because you know what that is? Football, 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 hockey, okay? And I'm amazed when I look at my husband, who is the most amazing husband and father on the planet. Except for, the for on Sunday, Mondays, and Thursdays. <laughs> When I look over at the couch at like two o'clock or three o'clock in the afternoon and I look there at seven o'clock and he hasn't moved. And I ask myself, if you want to have a happy marriage and you don't want my resentment to build up, then here's what I'm gonna say. Before men, you do that, you make sure that everything is done in the house, that your wife has nothing on her plate, because I would love to be able to do just that once when we have an award show to watch, the Grammys, the Oscars, and I have to PVR it and pause, 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 because the house needs me. So on behalf of partners and women everywhere, do not do this in front of my face, or I'm gonna be really, really mad. Wow. I mean, I, I first have to ask the question of like, if you married a sports fan, what yep. did you expect? Oh, okay. Like, I didn't, I chose an artist for this. I used to go uh, clubbing before I got married, but I kind of slowed it down when I got married and had a kid. I, no, I, I would what you're expect saying. this. I would expect that mm -hmm. the super fans of sports will do this. This is why I chose an artist. And having said that, <laughs> I will say that I, like, I think women choose resentment as the first go-to place, and I wonder if mm. women listening who feel the way that Mel does, and I know there are women who, I've been there at moments, could instead turn it around and just be like, oh, I'm excited because I'm tracking all of these days where you are not being attentive and I'm gonna book things into my calendar. Right. My day with my girlfriends, my day at the spa, whatever, so that they are forced then to take over. So instead of resenting them, just like ask for what they have, or just do what they do in a different way so that I you get back that time. I, okay. Here's the only that's problem the with that. I think that's very mature. Um, but I'm not mature right now. But <laughs> <laughs> why I think that doesn't work when you just flip it that way is because for when, um, you know, dad, let's say, and I'm talking hetero situation, when dad's on the couch and things are not getting done because he's not helping, I am doing everything. But when I'm on the couch because I just want to watch an awards show, everything is just piling up. I don't ever actually get to okay, rest. Wait, wait, I want to know, how do the lesbians uh, <laughs> deal with this? How do the lesbians deal with this? I'm not just a lesbian. I'm yeah, I also a mother. And why? Although I did not actually physically have the children for two reasons. Number one, ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> number two, ow, ow. Anyway, um, now that they're teenagers, I do have this, just so I have empathy for what you're saying, but I believe this man has given the world a gift. Mm -hmm. He has modeled how to take time for yourself. And he typed a letter? Yeah. Thank you. The bar is so low for men. Yes. I can't believe this guy actually, rather than sitting on a couch and just snapping at everybody and letting them get the message that way, he laid it out. I say, you know, build yourself a cone of silence, sister. Yeah. Let, let's all learn how yeah. to do this. I'm going to declare a MMI, a mom missing in action. Mom is missing in action. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the reason why I'm kind of single because see these types of conversations, <laughs> this kind of like he sections himself off. And I understand the frustration. I've dated a lot of sports fans, and
then I took it the way you took it. I was like, oh, perfect. I don't, because I like my alone time. I need that Same. time where I'm just doing my own thing. So I'm like, okay, Sundays and Mondays, this is a day where I don't have to worry. And it's like, yeah. as long as you don't want me to watch that game with you, I'm good. And Woo! then I go and I fulfill my time and I figure out what I want to do. Yeah. And that I kind of take it as a gift because I think in order for me, the type of person I am in a relationship, I need to have my own thing and you need to have your own thing. And then when we get together, your belly's full of football. I'm happy because I just did brunch with my girlfriends. I'm a little tipsy on my way back and everybody's <laughs> yeah. happy. And yeah. I Great for your situation, which I understand. I just want to know who's going to be washing the floors in the toilet. Hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below, and don't miss out.